Hey amigos, I was just processing these plums and getting them ready to freeze for my fruit smoothies and I realized I, I haven't discussed this refrigerator yet. Um, this is a side-by-side -side refrigerator. It's got, uh, it's not really huge, but it's got the freezer on one side and as soon as I hook it up I'll have ice water and, uh, and I mean cold water and ice. And basically, um, I actually I paid three hundred dollars for it. <laughs> the the only reason I I mean I, I moving into a new house, you know, sometimes you uh, you have a lot of expenses, you know, and a lot of unexpected expenses too. So, I mean, I have like twenty eight hundred in the checking account, but still, um, the thing is. It could go away really quick if I fun ran into something that is like really uh, unexpected and sh and and important, right? <clears throat> well, that's why I decided to uh, to try to find a bargain on a refrigerator instead, and I called an appliance repair uh, outfit, and then they put me in, and I asked about buying a used refrigerator, and. Uh, they put me in touch with a rep appliance repair guy who like fixes them up and sells them, uh, and he does it. He's retired. He does it in his spare time. But uh, he basically sold this fridge for me to me. He was gonna uh, do it for two fifty, but then he discovered that the ice machine didn't work, so he uh, had to put a new ice machine in it, and he basically charged me three hundred. Uh, actually, two fifty plus delivery, which was fifty, working out to three hundred, and I just pulled the bills out and slapped them in his hand. And when he offered a receipt, I just took a handshake. <laughs> he can do what he wants with his money. I don't care who he reports it to or whatever. My, I'm done. I washed my hands of the deal, and uh, if he wants to report it to. IRS and Social Security and, <laughs> and all that so that we can buy more missiles to blow up people in foreign countries well he is perfectly welcome to do so but I don't give a rip what he does <laughs> so uh, basically uh, and I helped him unload it too and uh, man that was exciting we just slid it was upright we slid it off the back tailgate of his pickup truck leaned it over right and then slid this thing here. The, oh, I just spilled some coffee there. I'll clean that up. But uh, then, then we slid the bottom end off, and we and we were like, it felt like a freaking mountain coming down on me. <laughs> but uh, then uh, we had the hand truck down below, and then the hand, top of the hand truck contacted the uh, the uh, bottom of the the side of the refrigerator, and then it kept sliding down, and then suddenly, I mean, boom! It was like right on the hand truck. That was like a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> Had a difficult time getting it through like this spot right here um, and through the door. It could barely fit. Um, but other than that, fairly smooth, um, fairly smooth process. So $300. I mean, I had a choice of going to the uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and buying a $2,000 refrigerator that would do basically what this one does uh, or I could and that would have taken I would only have $800 left now if I'd have done that <laughs> so uh, so I figured it was better to just uh, err on the side of caution and um, and basically that way I don't I can keep my credit cards at zero well, I think I have a little bit of something on them now, but I plan to pay it off at the end of the month. But um, basically, cheap refrigerator. My house payment's going to be one thousand fifty dollars a month, which is about a touch over twenty five percent of my income, my take home pay. That is, so um, so I'll have a good deal of wiggle room uh, for buying other things and. Once I get established, I will uh, and and comfortable here. Then I'll start nailing that freaking mortgage down. Now, as far as the house, I mean the condo goes, man, I don't know. Uh, 
either way I have to I have to knock that <clears throat> uh, either way I have to fix the place up I, I want I need to replace that water heater because it is old and I need to uh, uh, almost certainly replace the carpets once I got all my crap out of there I saw how bad they truly were <laughs> so um, so basically uh, I'm not sure do I want to sell it because if I do if I sell it I could probably get sixty thousand uh, dollars immediately I mean well as soon as I sell it <laughs> and then uh, uh, then basically turn and it's less than I paid for it so uh, I would pay I would suffer zero income tax on it and I could probably deduct some from this year's income tax and then on top of that um, I could uh, basically take that money dump it into the mortgage and immediately the balance would go from hundred and fifty three thousand down to about ninety five thousand or something and ninety five thousand dude I can pound that much I can pound that down real quick but then again having a backup residence just in case I somehow lost this one or something oh, it could be pretty handy uh, and I but I would have to have the I would then have the obligation of maintaining the place uh, for a renter and I would get a little bit of money, like maybe five or six hundred dollars a month from it, um, and that would pay. Oh, I, that still that would pay half my house payment, but then I would have sudden expenses all every once in a while, and that would that would really eat into that five hundred dollars a month. Um, like I'd have to rehab it once a once a renter left and I would have to uh, you know have everything cleaned which there's a cleaning deposit sure but uh, probably won't be enough to cover it then there'll be little problems and then we could have nuclear disasters like uh, like a renter slamming his hand in the shower door and saying that it's my fault and then taking me to court and whether I win or lose I still have all those legal fees Man, I don't know. But if I turn around and sell it, boom, I can immediately knock a third or more off of this mortgage. Uh, and then I could nuke the rest of it down in five years or so. It's really, it's really worth considering. And I'm still agonizing over it. Oh, well. Any advice? <laughs>